Once Ubuntu is installed, the big question then becomes, where do I get software or apps for it? Well, the first place to look is the Ubuntu Software Center. On a fresh install, you'll find the app in the toolbar on the left, uh, right here. So Ubuntu Software Center with this orange tote bag with uh, an A on it for apps and a little progress bar. If it's not there for some reason, you can go, always go up to the search, this desktop search, and type in Ubuntu Software Center and select it from the list of applications. So the Software Center allows you to download and install new software through this graphical user interface. So under the hood, it relies on some standard software package tools for Linux, namely the apt or advanced package tool and the Debian package or DPKG. But we won't worry about that in this video. So the Ubuntu Software Center lets you manage applications you have installed on your computer. So here it has a few suggestions and some top rated apps. Uh, you can also add your own ratings and it's as easy as clicking the app that you want. So let's say I want to install Inkscape Vector Graphics down here. So this Vector Graphics Editor, it's free. It's a free software. Uh, there's an install button. So once we get into the application, it gives a description, uh, an install button over here on the right, and some more information like reviews. So let's just click install to see what the install looks like. So it has a progress bar here. We can also click on this progress button at the top to bring us to the progress window, and it should show the download uh, progress. It also needs to have uh, privileges to install it. So let's put our password in for the current user. And here we see the progress. It's 20 megabytes in size, and the download's happening right now. So applying the changes, it'll only take a moment to install. Now that it's installed, we can look in our history and we'll look at our list here of all the packages that were installed today. So on a fresh install and you run a few things, it happens quite quickly and it'll show up in here. We can see there should be Inkscape right here. And that just installed, but also it installed a number of other packages that it needed for Inkscape. So all these other packages were installed along with it. So if we look at the time, 10.24 p.m., it shows a bunch of packages installed. So this is all of the libraries that Inkscape relies on. So if we go back to all software, if we don't see what we're looking for, we can also search for it. Let's say I've got a fresh install. And now I want to install an IRC client for Internet Relay Chat. So I can do a search, it brings up a list, and I can select from the list the one I want to install. And here it also shows me my installed software. Inkscape should show up under graphics, and it does right here. And I can go through this list, and let's say the software I don't want to use, I can always go in and just click Remove. That will remove it or delete it from the system. It'll just do a basic uninstall. And again, it shows a little progress window if we want to follow that. And we can see Inkscape is gone. And that concludes this introduction to the Ubuntu Software Center.